Welcome to Zion Builder. This is Gary. In this video you'll learn the first steps to page building with Zion Builder. We'll begin by adding a new page in your WordPress dashboard. Under Pages. Add New. Click Edit with Zion Builder. Okay. So what are we looking at here? On the right side is the editing screen of your site, where you add and edit elements that form the layout of your page. The first thing you will want to do is to change the page layout for this page by choosing this settings icon, page options, and under page layout select the design builder blank canvas option. This action will replace your current page default theme with a blank canvas, and we will be able to design on the whole page. Okay, now this is the interface you need to get used to from now on. The white area with the yellow dot is the canvas on which you will lay your creativity, here you will add and edit elements that will later form your website. On the left side is the Zion Builder panel. Here you will find some useful tools that you will need when building a page. Like Tree View Panel, Library, History, Responsive Preview, Page Options Settings, Other Informations, and the Save and Publish button. When you start building your page, design it from scratch by clicking on the plus button. Here you can add sections with predefined columns. You can also add elements like text, sections, columns, image, or you can start with a pre-designed template from the library. Alrighty, let's add a template together. Open the library from the Zion Builder panel. Once you find the one you like, click on it to preview it, then insert it into the page. Now let's take a closer look at the structure of a page. Each page in Zion Builder is made up of sections. This entire area is a section. These are also sections. Do you notice the blue border around each section on hover? Inside sections are columns. You can identify them by these yellow border lines with the yellow pencil icon in top right corner. Here's another column. And inside the columns are elements. Here's a text widget inside a column, inside a section. Each section, column or element have a top right pencil icon that acts like a handle. You can drag and move elements around if you drag it. If you click it it will open a toolbar with more actions like Edit Save Hide Clone And Delete Click the blue plus icon of the section to add a new blank section with two columns. Now let's make the section height bigger. Add an image element to the second column and a text element to the first column. Go ahead and add a button as well. To edit the section we can double click on it. Or, we can open the section toolbar from the blue pencil icon and click the edit icon. We can even right click the section and click edit from here. Let's go and make the section width a little bit more wider. From the styling tab we can change the style of the section, like for example the background color. We can also change the font that we want to use for this section, and it will apply to all the elements from this section. Let's change the image a bit. Since it has a white background we could easily blend it, by going to the image styles under filters, and selecting multiply. Now let's add some top and bottom padding to the section. While holding the control key, Drag the top blue line that appears when hovering next to the section margins. This makes the space even both at the top and at the bottom of the section. 
If we want to change the text, we can edit it directly with the visual text editor. Or by editing the element the same way we did with the section, by going to Elements Styling, under Typography, and selecting the desired font options from there. The fun part when using a template is that we can easily borrow styles from the pre-built elements. The way we do that is by copy and pasting element styles. Copy. Paste. Just like that. Or duplicate, drag and drop. Kid stuff. You can go even further and center this caption we just created with only two clicks. Want to reorder elements? The tree view makes this process stupid simple. When the tree view panel is open, you can click any element from the right canvas. The tree view will scroll to that specific layer that corresponds to the element you have just selected. This works both ways. You can select a layer from the tree view and it will bring in front the section in the right canvas. Let's rename this section layer to distinguish it from the others. Now to move it we can simply drag and drop it wherever we want. We also can view and reorder the child elements of this section if we press this small arrow from here. We now see that this section has two columns. First column has two text elements and one button element. Second column has only an image. Let's reorder these columns. Of course we could do this also from here. The whole layout is super flexible, and your work is saved automatically. If you want to fast preview your page, hit Ctrl plus P. If you want to publish and view your live page, click the Save and Publish button at the bottom of the Zion Builder toolbar. Then click View Post. Now, you're good to go. Click below the video on Create New Page, to start building your very own first page with Zion Builder. And be sure to explore the special Getting Started area, to discover more.